Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So um, people keep asking me how do you manage studying all these different languages at the same time while being a university student majoring in economics in Chinese language which is not an easy major and being a freelancer and a language coach and teacher. So in this video I'm gonna share with you guys my tips and tricks and um, I hope that you guys can um, get some inspiration from this video and uh, learn how to study different languages at the same time. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We are all pretty busy in life. We either have a full-time job, kids to take care of, or just a lot of school assignments. But you can still find the right time to study different languages and here I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So the first thing that I would like to talk about is time management. Uh, many people keep telling me that uh, we like to learn different languages but it's just like we don't have enough time to do that, we're super busy. Look, we are all busy, it's just a matter of priorities. And the fact that we have to learn how to manage our time to be able to learn more and to be able to take advantage of every single uh, second of our life in order to improve ourselves. So what I do is that I wake up early every morning. Um, I have this habit since when I was 12 because uh, it was hard for me to study all the languages that I was studying and to do my high school assignments. So I used to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. to do my um, school tasks. So I had enough time in the afternoon to uh, study languages. I kind of feel like waking up early in the morning is the reason why I'm who I am today, a polyglot. Because when you wake up early every morning, you not only have enough time to study, but also when you wake up early, I don't know, but it's just so magical. Like um, if you guys have ever uh, woke up at 5 a.m., there is just an extra power and positive energy at that time of the day that you can receive the energy and start your day with a better mood. So the first thing that I do right after waking up early in the morning is looking at my language learning schedule. So every month I plan a new monthly language learning schedule in which I write my free times and uh, the hours that I want to spend learning languages and the languages that I want to focus on in that month. It's super important to have a monthly language learning schedule. Why? Because it's not like my life is always the same. No, one month I have more free time, one month I have my final exams, one month, I don't know, it's the summer holidays. So um, your language learning um, plans shouldn't be the same throughout the year. It's true that I can stay 100% productive throughout the year. I do have my own ups and downs, which is normal, but with persistence and consistency, success would follow. So now let's get into the second part of our video, and that's how do I study these languages? As a polyglot who is studying all these languages alone by herself at home, in quarantine sometimes it's hard to stay motivated to stay focused and just stop procrastination so in that case what i do is taking online language classes especially for the languages that i'm still a beginner in because um you know when you've just started learning a language it's hard for you to you know uh, find the best method, the best resources, and just for me that doesn't work. I really have to like uh, take um, a course in that uh, language for at least A1 level, then I can um, continue everything by myself. So the answer to this question that how do I study these languages is that I take online language classes. Um, 
I love taking part in language classes because um, it makes language learning super easy for me because when I study everything by myself, I have to spend so much time looking for the right resource to learn that language. I have to teach everything to myself. Uh, so I have to learn everything just perfectly to be able to teach everything to myself. So it's just a lot of hard, it just requires a lot of hard work and energy. But when you go to a class, you just sit there and the teacher puts everything into your brain. So that's why I prefer, I always prefer going to a language school or taking online classes. One of the biggest mistakes language learners tend to make is that they limit their language learning to just going to language schools or taking uh, online classes. But for me, it's exactly the opposite. I have devoted my whole life into learning different languages and I've entered language learning into my daily life and I have a language learning lifestyle. When I say a language learning lifestyle, what do I exactly mean? Let's say I wake up every morning and I want to watch a YouTube workout video to do my uh, morning workout. I don't watch it in my native language, I watch it in my target language, let's say French. So while exercising, I can learn uh, vocabularies related to uh, workout and fitness in French. Later on in day, I want to read a book, I want to listen to music or watch a movie. I don't watch that movie or read that book in my native language, I do it in my target languages. For example, uh, there is this book that I like, uh, but I can't find the English version. So why should I read the Persian version of that book if the English version of that book already exists? Reading the English version of that book probably will take more time and more effort from me, but at least I'm sure that I'm also practicing my reading skills in English. Another thing that I do is talking to people in my target language. So in China, it was much easier for me to find native speakers to talk to them in my target language. But in Iran, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult uh, to, uh, to do that. So what I do is that at home, I talk to my sister, who is also a polyglot in uh, Chinese or English or Arabic. Or if I meet someone who is uh, fluent in two languages, I try to talk to them in the language that is not our native language. Another thing that I'm sure that some of you guys might do is journaling. Every night before sleeping, we write our goals or our plans for the next day or what we have done in that day in our notebook. But I do that in my target language so I can also practice my writing skills. Another thing that I do is that instead of wasting my time playing video games, I play with uh, Duolingo or other language learning apps. Um, they're just super easy and fun to use and uh, you know, I have like an extra 30 minutes of free time before going to bed. I just relax and chill and I open my uh, iPad and I just randomly play with those language learning apps and uh, by that I can learn new vocabulary every single night. When I'm cooking, exercising, taking a walk, or just going to school, uh, taking a bus, or I don't know, subway, what I do is that I listen to different podcasts in different languages, or if I'm lucky enough to find an empty seat in a subway, I um, open my uh, vocabulary flashcards and I keep revising the new vocabularies that I've learned in that week. Another thing that I do is that I have my own language learning community and friends. Uh, for example, I have my Instagram followers who are all interested in learning different languages and I do have many friends who, who are polyglots or they're just interested in learning different languages. So I do have uh, my own language learning partners. So every time I feel unmotivated or just, you know, lazy. Uh, they are there to motivate me and we study together. For example, two nights per week, uh, I practice uh, HSK Chinese with my um, language learning partners. Um, 
I do have native language partners. I practice speaking with them and uh, for example, I teach them uh, English, they teach me Chinese. Um, so that's how I improve my speaking skills. I do also have my Iranian non-native um, language partners that we learn together a new language. We study HSK together, we study IELTS together. So that's also another way that you guys can try in order to learn a new language. That's it for today, you guys. I hope that you go and pursue your dream of becoming a polyglot. And um, if you're also a polyglot or a language lover, uh, let me know in the comments down below um, what are the languages that you can speak or what are the languages that you are learning and how do you manage studying those languages. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I try to be more active in the next few weeks. Thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye.